All right, we're going to use nested while loops to power a conveyor belt. It looks a little bit like this. And ideally, when it's done, it's going to run and be able to separate red balls from blue balls. All right, go into lab view, create a new project using the FTC arm and gripper. Give it a name. This is a, just a prototype. This is a, obviously not a final robot. Connect to your NXT. And then we're going to want to set up our schematic diagram of our robot. All I have directly connected to my NXT brick is a motor controller and a color sensor. Coming out of the motor controller, all I have is one motor to power the conveyor belt. I have no second motor. The nice thing about the schematic editor is you can immediately check to see if the parts of your robot are connected correctly and you can actually run the motors directly from the schematic editor. I kind of want a slow speed for my conveyor belt so I'm going to play with it and test it out here. Alright, let's test my servo controller. I only have one of those and it's going to be used to open and close the trap door for the balls. Servo motors can also be tested from the schematic editor, which is really nice because then I can find the exact positions that I want to use in my program. So 255 is closed and maybe 150 is open. All right, save and close the schematic editor. It's now time to write an actual program. So go in, click New VI, give it a name, and now let's start laying out our program. First thing, I want to make sure that my trap door is closed. So I'm going to get a move servo motor, create some constants so that it knows which servo motor and what position. After the servo motor, I'm going to put a weight block so that it has time to move to the position I want it to be in. Then I want to make sure that my conveyor belt has a move block so that it starts moving. Give it only a power of 20 so it's not moving too fast. And give it the information for the motor. All right, after that, I want to test with a read sensor, or re specifically a read color sensor, the color of whatev whatever is in front of the color sensor. Give it some information like the port information by creating a constant. And then we're also going to want to take the color information out of the block. We're going to unbundle the cluster and we want to see if that first element is equal to the color for red, or the number for red, which is 8. It's always good to label and leave comments in your code so that you will understand what you are doing later on when you look at it. All right, it's time for some loops. We want to have the conveyor belt running over and over we also want to be checking the color sensor over and over. So we need to wrap that all in a while loop. And if it's equal to 8, if it's a red ball in front of it, we want to stop the loop. And we want to stop the motor that turns the conveyor belt. We also then want to open the trap door. So that means a move servo motor. And then we also want to put a weight block at the very end. So let's connect everything up in order. And then make sure that all the information is wired to the blocks, that the servo motor gets the servo 
information at the brake block gets the motor information and that the move servo gets the open to 150 position. Go ahead put some comments into your code so that if you need to change it in the future you know what the steps are or if someone else has to change it or a judge for the competition wants to understand what you did the comments there will be really helpful. Alright, we don't want this to run through just one time. We want to dump many red balls. We want this to run for a, a long time. So we need to wrap the whole thing so it happens over and over inside a, another while loop. Alright, now how do we end this program? Well, we don't want to just keep going forever. Maybe I want to have it run until a button is pushed on the NXT brick. So we want the inside loop to stop if a ball is red or if the NXT button is pressed. So we need to use an OR block. And then the outside loop, we're going to stop if the NXT was pressed only. All right, let's test it out. You can see it's dropping the red balls, but letting the blue balls pass. A good little challenge might be to change sensors to the magnetic sensor and detect balls with magnets in them.